You're listening to Breakfast with Pablo. We have on the phone, this year's winner of X Factor, it is Melissa. Melissa, good morning. Good morning. Now, you're the youngest ever winner of X Factor in Australian history. What does it mean to you uh, to know that? Uh, it means like the universe to me. Like I, I didn't expect it at all and my dream has come true. So, yeah, I'm really grateful to everyone who supported me and voted for me. And yeah, I just I just can't thank everyone at all. You're a year nine student. Uh, what's yeah. the reaction been like from from your school? Um, the school's gone crazy about it. Um, yeah, but they're really supportive. So yeah, it was great to see their support. And I went back there um, recently, and they were like, "Oh my goodness, someone from my school has won the X Factor." <laughs> we're so proud and. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they can't believe it as well. So, is, it, yeah. is it fair to say you're now the most popular Year 9 girl in school? Um, well, I think that's going to have to be true, yeah. <laughs> now, how do you fit your studies in uh, with your X Factor commitments? Um, well, unfortunately, I have to leave my school um, because I think it's just going to be too hard for me and the students around me. Um, it's just going to be too distracting and, yeah, I won't be able to concentrate. So, yeah, I'm just going to do homeschooling and, yeah, just submit all my assistance on time. Now, I've uh, I've read that in other interviews that you've done that you are really committed to finishing school, though. You're not just going to drop out of school and just focus on your music. Nah, yeah, because, like, my parents always stress the importance of it. And, uh, yeah, I think they're right and they only want the best for me. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to listen to them. And, yeah, I also think education is good. Um, I want to finish it, so, yeah. Now, Stand By You, uh, your brand new single, it's been going crazy in the charts. It peaked at number two, so you must be really happy uh, with your brand new single. Yeah, yeah, I'm really pleased with, with the result. You know, I, you know, I'm just a 15-year-old girl, and to have my song like at number two is just insane. So, yeah, I, I just can't get over it. Is it your favourite song to sing at the moment? Yes, it definitely is. Because it's my own, it's my original, and I just can't believe I have an original song. Yeah, and I, I think it's it's so catchy. To be honest, I always yeah, catch yeah. every time I hear it, I just start singing along. <laughs> Probably not quite as good as you though. Oh no! <laughs> um, now you've also been doing a few covers, uh, and you did Ed Sheeran uh, the other day as well. So, are you trying to work in some covers uh, into your music as well? Um, yeah. Well, um, there are just have been radio stations who want me to cover some famous people songs, and yeah, I think it's it's really great. It's so much fun, and yeah, I really love performing Ed Sheeran Speaking Out Loud. It's one of my favourite songs at the moment. So, yeah. Now, on the night you won, uh, just rewinding a little bit, uh, what was that feeling when your name got read out to Australia that you'd won X Factor 2014? Well, I, I just couldn't believe it. Like, me winning the X Factor is just, just too surreal, you know? I just, like... I was thinking to myself, what in the world is happening to me? I should be at <laughs> school doing my work, you know? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but I, I just can't thank everyone enough. You know, I wouldn't be able to get this opportunity without everyone voting. So, oh, on, yeah. the, on the night you won, uh, Taylor Swift is where, there, and she offered some yeah. uh, pretty sound advice, I think, about treating people well and especially fans uh, uh, when you interact with fans. And uh, I feel, you know, I uh, follow you on social media and things like that, and that seems to be something that you're really focused on as well. Yes, yeah. I think it's also important to to be nice to everyone and treat them, treat people the way you want to be treated. Um, so yeah, I think that's really important as well. And how good was it to be out there up on stage? Because Jessica Mowboy performed, Taylor Swift performed, and then you performed. Oh, it, it was incredible. Um, I never, ever thought I would be able to do that. Um, I think with Jessica Mowboy, it's just a dream come true. She's my idol, so I cannot believe I got to perform with her. Now, I'm not sure if you knew this, but I saw a comment on YouTube that someone wrote, and you can probably, uh, you'd know if this is true or not, but they wrote that you were the very first person on TV for the season to audition, uh, and you went from the first person to sing a song on the show to the very last person to sing a song on 2014 X Factor. Did you know that? Yes, yes, I was thinking about it. And if you think about it, Dean was the second one. Ah, right. After me. It's quite surreal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> now, um, three last questions. What's the biggest difference in your life since uh, winning X Factor? Uh, the biggest difference, probably me traveling so much, um, going on planes really 
regularly and um yeah just promoting a lot of stuff and i really enjoy traveling so that that's just really awesome well that's lucky then yeah <laughs> <laughs> now what's been the best uh part of the x factor ride so far um the best part i think winning it <laughs> Winning would definitely have to be it. Uh, was but, there, yeah. Was also there, going to New York as well. Definitely. And was meeting John Legend. Was there any bad parts? Because you did get sick um, for a little yeah, time in the show. Was that too. your worst moment? Yeah, that was the worst moment. Um, I couldn't rehearse at all that week. Um, and I just had to save my voice for the for the performance. And I just had to hope for the rest. I didn't know whether I was going to manage to get through it. But, yeah, I, I did. So... I am just so happy I got through it. And what's the uh, the plans for you for the end of this year and uh, moving ahead for 2015? Um, the plans for this year, I'll probably uh, I'll be doing um the Carols in the Domain. Awesome. So that's yeah, that's really exciting. Um, and yeah, I I'll probably be working on a new single and um uh, yeah, working on my new album with my original song. Well, we can't wait to hear it. You you were such a great performer uh, throughout X Factor uh, 2014 and such a humble uh, winner as well. And I uh, really thank you for uh, taking your time out this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Classic Gold, today's hits, Spirit.